Next up is my Turingo crab apple, mother-daughter planting. This little branch was just a little tiny bud and it is developing nicely into a branch. I had a front. It's right here. It was right here. That could change. I'm not sure I love it anymore. It's growing nicely here and here, so I consider this a bifurcation. I'd like to encourage that. This one's continuing to grow up, and I want it to compete with this right here, which I'm going to chop right to there and let that one grow. Even though this is actually a bifurcation, I think it's a little too high up on the tree. Okay, so that's cut. This is reaching out kind of far. Really don't know how I'm gonna pot this. Actually, I think I do. These are gonna compete with one another. That's okay. I'm gonna let those grow. And that's the old front. All right, here we go. Next tree. Next up is a tree that I think is a hazel. I haven't done much to this tree at all. But let it grow. And I just started fertilizing it. I'm 100% certain that this needs a repotting very badly and it will take off, but I don't want to repot it now. I will prune it back and see if I can't prune it to some smart way. And I like how this branch turns and goes in that direction. So just to clean things up a little, I'm gonna take away that growth on the side and anything that's keeping you from getting a full view of where the branch emanates from. I think this branch can be sacrificed. And that's got that area cleaned up a bit. How do I keep these two areas from being competing with one another. We'll do it that way. And they actually become kind of one and the same thing. Yeah, that's a good choice. This, a little ugly right now, but hopefully we'll look better someday. Hmm. This part crosses. Common wisdom says take it off. The division at the top is into three. It's really two on one side and one on the other. I think I'll take the inside one out. I like a little branch starting down here. That created a, uh, a visual between these two branches. I'm going to take a lower part off here. There's a stronger part 
just going off in the other direction. I just took the pruning stub off. Got a nice branch here starting and a little one starting there. That gives it some, um, you know, look, looking like there's a mass of foliage there. This I don't know about. Just those leaves at the base, take the rest off. This is the first set of leaves after the new growth. I'm gonna take the tip off of this. You don't wanna take this. This is also the first set of leaves after the new growth. And this is the first set of leaves after the new growth. So I think that has my hazel pruned up, looking a little more into scale. Let me zoom up on it a bit. Here's a 360. Okay, next tree. Next up is my nightshade. And I like what's happening here. This is all new. It bifurcated here. I got a branch here. I got another one kind of parallel to it, but I'm gonna leave it for now. And then there's this that really took off. That needs to be cut back. But where to? I'm gonna say, I'm gonna cut it right back to there. Take the large leaf off. Take the large leaf off here. Take the large leaf off here. And take the large leaf off here. And my nightshade, bittersweet nightshade. Oh, well, a couple things. Sucker here. Sucker here. I'm gonna leave this one back there. There may be a branch would develop there. That'd be good. And a sucker coming off the roots. Never want that. And a little nightshade is off to a good start. I like that right there. Next tree. I'm going handheld with this one. For those who watch my channel know that I very recently had to do an emergency chop on my jacaranda forest. And I told you at that time, I'm not that worried because these are amazing growers. This is just the spot I was pointing out. I don't know about you guys, but I find this extremely, extremely exciting. Okay, look at that. A whole nother little branch. Whether or not it's coming in the right direction, I don't know. But my Jacaranda Forest will once again triumph. Even the smallest little trees. All right, next update. The next tree up is another recent uh, repotting that I did. It's the one that I dedicated to Tony of Tony's Bonsai because I went ahead and bent this after uh, uh, gaining the strength to do it by watching Tony. But I didn't want to prune it at the time of repot because 
I wanted to make sure it was healthy and would uh, survive in this pot, in potting environment without uh, skipping a beat. And as you can see, it has. So it's time to prune it back a little bit. I think I will adjust the camera so it's looking down because I think most of the pruning is going to be on the upper outer canopy. I'm going to take this. Uh, I don't really want to do it. I think I need to take this one off. This is really on the inside of a curve. I think I need to prune this top off, which I'll do to an outward facing leaf and hopefully get some growth out that direction. Light can get to this branch underneath it now. I'll prune it back a little bit. I'll prune this one back a little bit. Maybe take this lower piece back to where it gets some light. Maybe take this whole thing back. Yeah. And just take this one leaf. There's a dead branch here. Take that off. And there's one leaf. Actually, two leaves. Kind of clogging things up over there. That's got that pruned up nicely. Is this dead? And here's a dead stub. Take it further back. This is dead. that branch back to there. Take this branch. Well, let's clear out the middle here. Is that this doing it? It is. So let me just take out. I'll just make it shorter. And I'm going to remove this leaf. I think I have to get rid of this. wants to come all the way back to here, I think. This leaf wants to come off, and this leaf needs to be pruned back. That branch, rather. This is okay on this side. Okay, this wants to come back to an outward facing leaf. I think this is a good one because this is when the internodes start getting longer. So I cut it back to a short section. This has some Swiss cheese going on. I don't know what that is. I'll cut that leaf off. It seems to be natural. 
although it does, it could be a caterpillar. I think. I think this comes back to here. This comes back to this. Yeah. Comes back to the Swiss cheese leaf. So I'm going to leave that. This. There's a pruning stub here. I'm going to cut this one back to here. Uh, actually, I'll go one further. Or maybe I'll cut that off entirely. I will. By the way, I don't think I told you, this is an American hornbeam. What do you think of that front right there? Okay, next tree. Just very quickly, it's been about a week since we defoliated my Rose of Sharon. Hoping that this flush of growth will contain flower buds and we'll get something going on. Little spiders in there, not spider mites, just regular old spiders. Oh good, oh good, oh good. Yeah, little baby spiders. I think, I hope. This tree did have aphids on it. And I sprayed it down with soap and water. But look at the, uh, look at the growth in just a week. When this, when this grows out just a little bit more, I'll make some finer selections. Although I'm, I'm uh, hesitant to do so because I don't want to affect any that might contain a flower bud. Unless it's really obvious that it shouldn't be growing there, like maybe this, going toward the inside of the tree, or, or this one down here. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. So, just quickly, this is what you can expect from a Rose of Sharon, which makes it such a good candidate for clip and grow. All right, next tree. And this is my Chinese juniper. Let's see if I can remember where I thought the front might be. Probably somewhere around there. I'm trying to just kind of visualize what's been happening to this tree. It's just been growing out from where I pruned it back. There is some back budding that uh, has taken off. This I'm just going to leave. I try to improve on the bend a little bit. And I want to take this uh, gold wire off here. I think it's done its job and I don't want it to begin biting. And it has begun biting, but not bad. I mean, hardly at all. Good. Did its job. And that's all I want to do to this tree. The foliage is just not telling me anything cohesive yet. All right, 
This might be the last tree. I'll come back and tell you. Okay, that's it on the updates. Thanks for keeping me company in my backyard.